Hello, my name is Leo, and welcome to another episode of Doki Doki Literature Club. So, I was just in the history, looking at the history, and I noticed that was all weird. I forgot what that was all about. But I noticed that the the bit where I think Natsuki said my, my father would beat the shit out of me if he found this. I think that it, the original text is actually here. I think it's this. I don't even know what my dad would do if he found this. So, I should, uh, if I ever see, like, the black text, I should actually check the history to see what the, the actual word was. Anyway, Monica reaches into her bag, pulls out some kind of protein bar. She throws it in Natsuki's direction. Natsuki's eyes suddenly light up again. She snatches the bar from the floor and immediately tears off the wrapper. I told you not to give me a... Doesn't even finish her sentence before stuffing it in her mouth. Don't worry, Leo. She's fine. It just happens every now and again. That's why I always keep a snack in my bag for her. Anyway, why don't we all show our bombs now? Okay, well, let's, uh, let's show our bombs in that skin. I told Natsuki I was interested in her poems yesterday. It's probably only fair that I share mine with her first. Okay, well, let's start with the things that I don't like. First of all, um... Let's give you my phone. But never mind, I don't feel like giving you my opinion. What? What? Then what's the point of sharing it in the first place? I wrote this when I could have been doing other things. Uh, in fact, I remember how I said I wanted to read your poems. That's what I had in mind when writing this. I wanted to help you feel comfortable enough to share yours. Like Monica said. Ugh. Well, I would be more comfortable sharing my poem if yours was really bad. You were supposed to show me some dumb poem and then make me go, oh well, it's not that great, but let me show you what a real literature looks like. You went and ruined it. I hope you're happy. So in other words, you're saying you liked it. Ah. That's key's retort gets caught in her throat. Ah, you so you just, you don't understand anything, do you? I already told you that. You don't have to go announcing to the world that you're all self-important. Pretty sure you, pretty sure you never actually said that. I say that most of, mostly to myself. This must really hate me or something. I can't figure out if it's a win or a loss. I should like my poem. In any case, uh, you still need to show me yours, right? Good, fine, I guess. Only because Monica will make me do it if I don't. Well, it's the same. Does this have some sort of uh, child abuse angle here? People can try, but that's it. Yeah. I told you that you weren't going to like it. I like it. What? Just be honest. Ew. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Well, because everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff. So people don't even take my writing seriously. But isn't the point of poems for people to express themselves? Your writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yes, exactly. That's when it's easy to read, but it's too hard. Like this poem. I've actually read this already. Anyway. Okay. Let's show you the next. So 
So this isn't what she's like, so let's see what she says. Um, oh, sorry, I forgot to start speaking. Um, it's uh, fine, it's fine, don't force yourself. I'm not, I just need to put my thoughts in words. Hold on, uh, okay. This is your first time writing a poem, right? Uh, yeah. Why do you ask? Uh, I'm just making sure. I guess that it might be after reading for it. Oh, it's not that bad. But no! Did, did I just raise my voice? Uh, I'm so sorry. Okay. Yeah, this is most of the same, the same shit. Oh, no, it's actually allowing me to skip this. Oh. Is that the game? This is new, somehow. But go back, go back, go back, go back. Load, load that up again. So, we don't really know what her thing is, although we, we think that she cuts. I don't know what that's supposed to mean, that poem anyway. It's nothing really. Well, it makes me happy that you think that. Just remember that it won't be long before you pick up on these things too. I think this is new stuff, right? Yeah, maybe you're right. I guess I'll have to keep trying. I'm counting on you. Okay. So if it says skip, I guess we can just shut up skip it, yeah? I guess so, yeah. Hello! Having a good time so far? Uh, yeah. Good, glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new and everything, if you ever have any suggestions for the club, like new activities, okay, this is the same. Yeah. Um. I mean, this is looking very similar anyway. Cuter than I expected. Kind of makes me think of something that Nat's kid would write. And she's a good writer too. So take that as a compliment. Uh, you say so. Yep. If you're interested in Nat's kid, you don't want to keep a snack on you. She'll cling to you like a puppy. <laughs> Nat's kid's dad doesn't give her lunch money or leave her any food in the house. So she's in a fussy mood pretty often. What? Doesn't give her lunch money or leave food in the house. So... But sometimes she just loses all of her strength and shuts down. Is the father like, like starving her? Like a weird, like, not anorexia, but like a weird, like, third party anorexia thing? 
Because he wants, like, a freaking beautiful little cute girl as a daughter. Anyway, it's just getting creepy. It's just a guess, but I think she's so small because of her malnutrition is interfering with her adolescent growth. But hey, some guys are into petite girls too, you know. Sorry, just trying to look on the bright side. Anyway, you want to read my poem now? Don't worry, I'm not very good. Separate confident. Because there was, there was something there. Yeah. Huh, okay. Because now you can skip this. Okay. Phew! Guess that's everyone. I'm glad to be out of the room. That was a little more stressful than I anticipated. It's as if everyone is uh, judging me for my medi mediocre, mediocre running values, even though they just think it's the same. Okay, so I totally remember this conversation, so... Wait, you know what's gonna happen? What's up? They're gonna fight, but last time it was, what's the name, that broke it up, remember? Oh, it's already broken up, yeah. Um, Natsuki, that's a little... This doesn't involve you. Oh. Oh. Oh, stop that. Taking out your own insecurities and others like that? You really act like as young as you look, Natsuki. Me? Who gets talking, you wannabe edgy bitch? Edgy? Sorry. That's... Okay, that music is too loud. Too fast now. Is this gonna keep doing that until... What is going on? Sorry that my lifestyle is too much for someone of your mental age to comprehend. See? Just saying that proves my point. Most people learn to get over themselves after they graduate middle school, you know. If you want to prove anything, then stop harassing others with your sickening attitude. You think that you can counterbalance your toxic personality? Just by dressing and acting cute? The only cute thing about you is how hard you try. Whoa! Be careful or you might cut yourself with that edge, Yuri. Oh, my bad. No, no. Oh, my bad. You already do, don't you? Did you just accuse me of cutting myself? What the fuck is wrong with your head? Yeah, go on. Let Leo hear everything you really think. I'm sure he'll be head over heels for you after this. <laughs> Suddenly, Yuli turns to me as if she just noticed I was standing here. Leo, she, 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 she's trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. <sighs> oh. What? <laughs> Uh, um, <laughs> Yuri? Okay. 
Okay, I, I keep looking at nothing's happening. Okay. Uh, okay. I get it. I get it. Oh. Hi. <laughs> what is going on? Can I start the game? I cannot. Oh, fuck. Hi, Monica. What's up? Um, hey Leo, why don't we step outside for a little bit, okay? Okay, let's save the game, and I'm gonna go change my pants. When we come back, we're gonna figure out what the fuck is going on. But for now, my name is Leo, and I'll see you next time.